What's going on guys, it's your boy DJ Skinless here and we're back with another video. For this one I'm going to break down a recent tweet by legendary rapper Ice-T in regard to Tupac and Ice Cube. Let's get it. I'm built for it nigga. Alright, we're on Showbiz and the title reads Ice-T, Ice Cube, and Tupac collaborated in a rare video that surfaced on Twitter. From Boogie Down Productions to the NWA, gangster rap is synonymous with the 1990s. As the war raged on between East Coast rappers and West Coast OGs, MCs like Ice Cube and Ice-T solidified their statuses as icons, while others like Tupac and Notorious B.I.G. lost their lives. Recently on Twitter, Ice-T revealed a rare moment that he captured on video with Ice Cube and Tupac from that era of music. Here's what he said about the video and how the fans reacted. Further on, it says Ice-T retweeted a video of an inside look at a music studio in 1993. In it, Ice-T and Ice Cube are seen working on a song collaboration while others observe. One onlooker spotted in the studio is a particularly famous face in the hip-hop world, and their third collaborator, Tupac Shakur, aka Tupac. And the reason that they're all together here in this video is because actually Ice-T and Ice Cube were featured on Tupac's second album, Strictly, which came out in 1993, and the song that they were working on was a song called Last Words. In the caption for the video, Ice-T wrote, Throwback, super rare, me, Ice Cube, and Tupac in the studio. Now you have some replies here on Twitter, oh my god, wow, that was amazing. Having been together in one room with Tupac, and of course my other two favorite rappers of all time, Ice-T and Ice Cube, wow, wow. Another wrote, it's all about the music, you three are icons, love you all. You have another comment here, the good days when they were gangster rap. Now it's the guy from Law & Order and Ride Along, I love both of them, they grew up. Now for whatever reason, the media is running with this as if it's a new leak. However, I reported on this video back in my December YouTube upload about the best of Tupac in 2019. And here's a brief clip of that. Number six is Tupac, Ice Cube, and Ice-T in the studio. The three most influential West Coast icons can now be seen all in one video. The studio session, which was recorded in 1993, shows Tupac talking about the movie Poetic Justice, describing the movie experience as cool. And if you watch the footage, it, Tupac actually seems very like laid back. I don't know if he's high or anything like that, but he just gives a very generic answer and he doesn't really know what poetic justice is about when he's actually telling Ice-T it. He just basically says it's a love story. <laughs> but maybe he'll just call up in a moment. You know, he was very young at this time. It was very early in his career. So being around Ice Cube and Ice-T, I definitely see why he was more mellow. And you actually have to take into account this was before Thug Life really took off. Now here is a legendary clip of Ice Cube, Ice-T, and Tupac recording their song, Last Words, and this was a song that was actually released on Tupac's second album in 1993 called Strictly. Who wanna do it? Walk the bitch. Yeah. She be bodyguarding for LL. You probably uh, seen her before. <laughs> she real, real. <laughs> she got braces. <laughs> it's just like, it's gonna whisper. <laughs> I keep going, give me a beat, Jinx. Give me a beat. He be like, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Hold up. I think he go get her the beats from his mom. You know she used to play with Chick Korea. <laughs> Chick Korea, that bitch bad. Goddamn dead. Now we all know that Tupac and Ice Cube didn't have the greatest relationship or friendship. When Tupac was incarcerated in 1995, Ice Cube released the song Bow Down, and that really ruffled Tupac's feathers because he felt disrespected that Ice Cube was basically calling himself the Don, and Tupac felt like he was stealing his whole swagger as well with repping the West Coast. But it's actually kind of cool that we actually got actual footage of Tupac and Ice Cube and Ice-T actually recording their songs and actually bullshitting in the studio. I actually wish they would have recorded more music together. Alright guys, so what do you think about this video here? It's so amazing that we got actual studio footage of these three legendary rappers together and the prime of their careers working on their songs together. This was the only song that they made together and this is the only song that Ice Cube, Ice-T and Tupac actually worked on together. Now Ice-T and Tupac actually worked on a second song called Gangster Team and that was also released in 93-94 with Spice One and the South Central Cartel. Now Tupac and Ice Cube never got to work together again, however Tupac wanted Ice Cube actually on All Eyes On Me, the original version of the album called Euthanasia, and there was a song on there called Till I See LA, which Tupac wrote on a handwritten track list that the features were Ice Cube and Snoop Dogg, as well as another version I believe with Ice Cube and Coolio. However, we aren't sure if Tupac actually recorded this track, 
Ice Cube has come out and said that he's never recorded another track with Tupac, and it's the only song that exists with them both. You know, that's when we first started going on the road and seeing Tupac on the road with Digital. And, you know, he was dope. You know, he just had energy. He just had that uh, personality, uh -huh. you know, just kind of that, that made you kind of gravitate towards him. And then, you know, he just uh, started to develop himself as an artist. I remember one day he told me, he was like, man, this digital stuff is cool. But I want to do, you know, when I do my record, yeah, it's going to be hard like y'all records. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So that to me was a sign that he wanted to break out and be able to talk about some of the things that he felt he couldn't talk about in digital. Wow. So, you know, it's, it's just, uh, he's just a cool dude, you know, just one of them cool dudes you know. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I just want to break down this recent news by Ice-T because it's just amazing that he's actually tweeting about it and he actually noticed it. And hopefully one day they can actually release this song in better quality. Anyways, guys, drop your comments below. Be sure to check out my Twitch channel. It's going to be in a pinned comment and also in my description. And I'm going to be playing video games over on Twitch as well as showcasing new remixes and my old remixes from the last 10 years. Also, be sure to check out my Patreon and my YouTube channel memberships for perks and goodies on there as well. This is DJ Scanless signing out. Peace out.